Hello everybody and welcome back. For this video, I am going to talk about the compound interest formula. Savings in which earnings are continually reinvested, such as mutual funds and retirement accounts, use compound interest. The term compounding refers to interest earned not only on the original value but on the accumulated value of the account. The annual percentage rate of an account is also called the nominal rate is the yearly interest rate earned by the investment. The term nominal is used when the compounding occurs in a um, few number of times other than once per year okay so what is the formula for the compound interest so compound interest can be calculated using the formula a of t is equal to p times 1 plus r over n raised to n t a is the account value after time t p is the principal or the starting amount r is the the nominal rate n is the number of compounding periods in one year and t is the total number of years okay so basically uh, we can solve for the account value after time t if we are given the rate the principal and the number of compounding per year okay so n is the number of compounding every year so you will come to uh, we are going to talk about the different terms here so if we say uh, by annually or semi-annually we talk about uh, semi-annual the money will be compounded twice every year so our n here is equal to 2 okay so many the money can also be compounded monthly if this is the case n is equal to 12 okay because there are 12 months in a year money can also be compounded daily uh, we are going to use our generalization here that there are 365 days a year so n would be 365 when it's compounded daily money can also be compounded quarterly quarterly means every three months so n would be equal to four okay so the money will be compounded four times when it's quarterly compounded okay so let us take a look up at a problem and let's try to determine and solve the unknown right here. So if we invest $3,000 in an investment account paying 3% interest compounded quarterly, how much will the account be uh, in 10 years? Okay, so let us identify the given. We have invested three thousand dollars that's our initial money right so that's our principal amount p so that's p is equal to three thousand dollars three percent interest so this is our nominal that is our nominal rate r so r is equal to three percent so r sh r should be expressed as a decimal so r sh is equal to zero point zero three for three percent okay it says here that the money is compounded quarterly okay so n therefore is equal to four 
the money will be compounded four times in one year. So how much will the account be worth in 10 years? So that's T is equal to 10. So we are looking for the amount A at time T equals 10 years. Okay, so uh, our formula for the compound interest A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N raised to N T. And let us try to substitute the given P is equal to 3000. This is 1 plus the rate is 0 0.03 divided by 4 raised to 4 times 10 okay so this is equal to we can actually use our calculator now so let us open our calculator and let us let us solve so that's 3000 3000 and then 1 plus 0 0.03 over 4 raised to 4 times 10. So the amount will be 4,045.05. Let's try to write it in here. 4,045. 0.05 This is rounded to de to two decimal places to uh, round it off to the nearest cent. Okay, so money is actually until two decimal places only. That's one cent there. Okay, so that's how we compute the amount after some uh, some years using the compound interest formula okay what if the given is the amount the total amount after some years and we are looking for the principal amount okay let us take a look at this problem a 529 plan is a college savings plan that allows uh wait i haven't there okay uh, that allows relatives to invest money to uh, pay for a child's future college tuition the account grows tax-free so Lily wants to set up a 529 account for her new granddaughter and wants the account to grow to $40,000 over 18 years. She believes the account will earn 6% compounded semi-annually. So that's twice a year. To the nearest dollar, how much Lily need to invest in the account now? Okay, so Lily wants to have an amount of $40,000 in the future. Okay, that's 18 years from now. Okay, so the amount, the, the rate of interest is 6% compounded semi-annually. So let us therefore identify the given values. Okay, so this amount here is the future value. Okay, that's our future value. That's A. Okay, A is the $40,000. Uh, we have D equals 18 years. Uh, the rate of interest is 6%, so that's 0 0.06. Semi-annually, so N is equal to 2. We are looking for the... So, the required is P, okay, the principal amount. Let us identify what formula do we need to use so we are going to use the compound interest formula a is equal to p times 1 plus r over n raised to n t 
and let us try to substitute the given so we have 40,000 is equal to P the unknown is P and then 1 plus 0 0.06 over 2 raised to 2 times 18 okay so basically what are we going to do here is to simplify this first okay so let's try to simplify that first so that's 40,000 is equal to P times this is 0 0.06 divided by 2 is uh, 0 0.03 so this whole thing the whole base is 1.03 okay so this is 1.03 this 2 times 18 is 36 okay so we have 40,000 is equal to uh, 1.03 p times 1.03 raised to 36 okay to solve for p we need to divide both sides by 1.03 raised to 36 right so we divide both sides by 1.03 raised to 36 1.03 raised to 36 uh, that this will be cancelled out so we come up with p is equal to this thing okay so let us use our calculator right here and there okay so we have a p is equal to uh, 40,000 over 1.03 raised to 36 so that's to the nearest dollar so uh, let us uh, round this off to whole decimal i mean whole number okay so that's 13,801 it's 13,801 So this is the amount that Lily needs to invest now so that he will have $40,000 after 18 years if the amount is uh, compounding at 6% semi-annually. So that's how we solve for the principal amount P using the compound interest formula. Okay, so... Thank you for watching.